So your mix is uh, spending an afternoon at Sherburn Aero Club. And um, one of the interesting things here is the tie up with the, the maltings, uh, well known for their tea room in, uh, sh in uh, South Milford. But now maltings at Digby's is here at the Aero Club as well. It's run by Stuart, Stuart Kelly. Uh, who is behind uh, the counter here. And um, Stuart, this adds a, a, a really cool extra dimension, doesn't it, to this place? You must be pleased with the, uh, the tie-up. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, we can offer, obviously, all our uh, fresh produce as, as home baking uh, that we do, which we do at the tea rooms. We've brought that into, uh, into the Aero Club and the, uh, the members are enjoying it. Yeah, and I mean, you know, it's it's quite high quality stuff you do as well, isn't it? And it's sort of very different too. I was just, just come over here with me because the brownies. <laughs> these are massive brownies. These look at the look at the size of those, <laughs> and such a choice as well. Yeah, so they um, give you a bit more for your money. <laughs> yeah, they do, don't they? So just just talk about your offer for us, then just describe how you see it. Then what, what what's it all about? Uh, it's just local produce uh, for local people, and obviously for people that fly in. Uh, people to enjoy it really. We try and make uh, the best we can. Um, it's been a struggle getting produce from time to time with Covid obviously. So yeah. I think everybody's suffered with that. Um, but no, we just try and make some, some nice different kinds of bakeries. Obviously there's, there's cakes which are over there and then there's brownies which we keep playing around with and there's cookie dough and the shop and things like that really. And coming into a location like this that I suppose for many people was seen as quite an exclusive club. Uh, did you take much persuading to do that? What did you think when the idea was first mooted? Uh, we came and had a look. Thought, yeah, it's all right. Had another look, thought, <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, we, we ummed and hard about it and thought, yeah, it's something we can offer and it'd be something good for the members themselves and obviously people that are coming in and visitors, it's something they can enjoy. Because it's a very different type of location, isn't it, to open up a second house? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, it's, like I say, it's, it's, generally you think it's just a members club. Mm. Um, but it's not visitors are more than welcome to come, um, general public, and also that'll open an aspect that we can bring um, the general public in, and then they, they can experience the flying side of it as well. Because not a lot of people, probably not a lot of people, realise how accessible flying is. Mm. Yeah, that's so right. So the two yeah. work yeah. hand in hand. Uh, do you fly? Not yet. <laughs> I've been up a couple of times, but yeah, <laughs> maybe it's something I might do. Thanks very much for talking to us, Stuart. Thank you. And thank you very much for the excellent coffee, too. You're welcome. Thanks.